common question we get at Dr. Tim's Aquatics is, can you use garden soil, soil from Home Depot or Lowe's or something in your fish tank? We don't really recommend that. It makes a mess. There's all sorts of different types of soil, and especially potting soil is mixed with some stuff that floats, and you're never going to clean it up. So if you're going to use a soil, make sure it is a dedicated aquarium soil, not something from the garden center. Also, Garden center soils can have a lot of different fertilizers in them, which is just going to make a chemical soup in your aquarium. The ammonia levels are going to go up, the phosphate, you'll grow tons of algae, and I don't think you're setting up your aquarium to grow lots of algae. So stay away from garden soils, the soils out in your yard, and use aquarium soils. And for you out there that think I'm trying to sell you soil, Dr. Tim's Aquatics doesn't sell soil. So that's not the case. I'm just trying to give you some advice. So cut all that stuff out. I've got a nice recipe. You get some laterite, which is iron-based soil. You cover that with some sand and then some rocks, or a lot of people will use oak leaf, some type of organic material, and cover that with pebbles. The choice is kind of yours, depending on the kind of tank that you want. If you're going salt water, just get crushed coral. There's lots of manufacturers of that. I really don't recommend the live sand type of crushed coral. That just causes lots of problems. But again, Stay away from the garden center. You're not doing a garden, you're doing an aquarium. Get aquarium substrate. For this and other fun facts, follow us at Dr. Tim's Waters.